He exactly found the these he awesome wanted. shorts that will go cool with his shoes, and these are like 11 bucks plus 60% off. Guys, you know what I call that? Still of a deal. <laughs> What up, good morning, welcome to another school day here at the Bingham House. I don't have as much energy I'm acting like I have right now, but the kids have been amazing once again this morning, getting up, getting ready for school. This is something new that we're gonna be doing on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Mom has signed up for like a fun fitness class that she's doing in the mornings, and it actually will keep her there until after, I think she doesn't get home till like eight. So by the time she gets home, you guys are off to school. So it's gonna be on dad to get you guys up, ready, out the door with everything you need, backpacks, hair comb, lunches packed, breakfast fed, teeth brushed, all the things that we tag team in the morning, all on dad. Guys, how did I do this morning so far? So good, I liked my hair. Dude, I gotta say, the hair is not too bad, Sometimes mom doesn't love the way I do the hair. Hair's looking pretty good. I go and Brexton's the wrong way to start, and he's like, this doesn't feel right. So then I got it the right way. We've had breakfast, we got lunches packed, got backpacks on. You guys just need coats, you brushed your teeth, shoes on. Let's get to school, guys. All right, let's go. 12 seconds later. Literally, like 12 seconds later. No and joke. I appear. Mom's back from her class. I guess I had it wrong. I thought you would be back to like I eight. went to a bar class. Ooh, is it bar or bar -ay? How do you say it? Bar -ay, I bar. I went to the bar this morning. <laughs> oh my gosh, Mindy. <laughs> All I know is my quads are on fire. And then you hold it and they're just like, you're like, oh, I can't do it any longer. And then she goes, hold it for eight counts. You are going to be dead. Mom has said she's going to take the kids to school. So I'm actually going to get started. I didn't keep Hazy here with me. And mom's going to take them off to school. Mom, we did a decent job this morning. We got lunches packed. My boots tied. Tight. Backpacks packed, teeth brushed, hair combed. They've had breakfast. I think you'd approve. Thank you. <laughs> that was kind of fun. Just yesterday, mom was talking about how since I've been home more now that we work out of the house, I take the kids to school and pick them up every single day. She feels like that's something that she misses out on with me being home. You guys know it's one of my favorite things I was able to do because it's so rare for a dad to be able to do that, both dropping off and picking up. And so I've just always loved that. Now I've been doing it for like a year and I think mom feels like she's missing out on that. So I think that was kind of cool. She hurried back just to be able to take the kids to school. And yesterday she picked them up from school, working into a new flow here in 2020, and everything's off to a great start so far. Hello, everyone. I finally got already. Hazy and I are already. We're gonna go run a few errands. Going to Target, looking for a few things. Gotta go to the bank. Gotta go get some things printed. Nothing super exciting. Unless we're getting out of the house. Yesterday I didn't do much running errands and stuff. Gonna get a few things done today. Hazy has music class starting off this new year, so she's excited about that. It's gonna be a good day so far. Dad got the kids up and going, and that's nice. I was able to take them to school. That was really fun, because I don't really get to do that very often. You look super cute. Are you gonna go run errands with Mommy? Yeah. It's not her favorite thing to do, but she agreed to it because we're gonna go to the bank and they usually give us a sucker, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, are you gonna bring your Barbies? Bring them with us, okay? They'll run errands with us. It is a nice and mild, like mid 40s, high 30s temperature day out there. The sun is shining. It's one of the last days we're gonna have that aren't going to be cloud covered with snow coming down. So I wanted to take the one wheel on a test ride. I've always wanted to try and take it a little bit further than just around the neighborhood. As you guys know, we do live literally like in the mountains. So to get to our home from any direction, you have to go up pretty dang steep hills. And they're pretty long steep hills. And so I wanted to try and go down to like a gas station nearby, one of the places that I go with the kids, and see if we could make it there on the one wheel, both in having enough battery, but also being able to climb those hills on the way back up. So I'm gonna give that a test right now, but we still got some good weather to do it. First of three hills. This is the biggest one coming up now, followed by a third, slightly bigger than this, but not as big as this. Here we go. So I did not anticipate that. Actually, these have regenerative braking, similar to like a Tesla, where as you brake, it will recharge the battery. So I went down the hill at 94%, and now I'm getting alarms from the one wheel on my watch saying it's about to turn off because I've overcharged it past 100%. Added 6% to the battery life just in that one hill, and now it's too much, so it's gonna shut down so it doesn't overcharge or overheat. I'm trying to run the battery down a little bit before I hit the next hill, otherwise I won't be able to do it. Wouldn't have thought that would have been one of my problems. We're gonna give it a go here. What is crazy about that to me is that I would actually be better off to leave the house with a lesser charged battery, like in the 80%, and then I would fully charge it on the ride and then come back home on a full charge. That's incredible, because one of the concerns I had was enough battery life to make it to my destination and back. But as it turns out, I'm gonna be overcharged by the time I get there because of these hills. And we'll see how it handles going back up the hills. news is the trip was a complete success on the way down. Still have the climb back. That's obviously a concern for multiple reasons. If it has the power, now you can switch it into a more aggressive, more torquey mode, which I'll probably do to climb hills and go off road. Also another amazing feature. One thing I didn't consider though is taking anything back with me. I grabbed some stuff and now I've got to hold it on the way back. Tuck the camera away here and start the climb. Literally could not have been easier or smoother. Kill number two, the big one. I might just change it into the aggressive torquey mode just for fun. This is incredible. 
there it goes, you guys. Biggest of the three hills. Like it was nothing. I mean, like it was nothing. I gotta get this thing off road as soon as the snow melts. I'm back, I've made it, I've got a rosy red face. It was fast, fun, freezing, the three Fs. It was actually very quick, very simple, and I was amazed at how differently it drives in different modes, because I accidentally left it in that hill climbing mode to finish the ride home, and it just keeps the nose up at an angle like this, completely different riding style. Very amazing, very great experience. Glad to get that one in before the snow comes and covers up all the roads here. Something that I'm very much looking forward to doing more of in the summer. We were inside just now, and Kirby Doo comes running in the house. He says, get outside right now, best sunset of the year. And all I can think of is that I don't have a drone to video it, but check this out you guys. He is not exaggerating when he says the greatest sunset of the year. Now, of course, the year is only about seven days old, but that is the sickest sunset I have seen in January of 2020. No joke. Man, I wish I had the drone. This morning, I was thinking about everything we have going on this week, and the boys, crew, and Ryler are starting up basketball. In practices all the years, and games this week, yes, right? Yes, yeah. practices and games this week. In all the years that they have done basketball, they've never actually yeah. had basketball shoes. Every year, I think they've asked for them. Yeah. So, so I think what they normally done in the past is just whatever sneakers they have just for school shoes, or just yeah. tennis shoes, and it's been good enough. Like they're not like for advanced sure. enough that they they're need not pro. super pro shoes. I mean, but they've asked for basketball shoes, like high tops, like shoes that are designed to play basketball in. So we thought we would hit up the outlets by our house. We have Nike, we have Under Armour, we have so many great. Shoes. Literally, there's everything. We Adidas, thought we'd go Vans. check it out. So we're gonna go get some shoes, some basketball shoes. That's what's on the agenda tonight. We're hunting for the perfect pair of basketball shoes. First ever, actually, pair of basketball shoes for these what kids. What I wanna know is how many things will we find that are not basketball shoes. I know, we'll get them, we'll get them. Okay, mom, dad, I found mine. These are so cool, ready? Yeah. Oh wow, those are pretty oh, cool. Oh, those are freaking awesome, dude. Air Force Max 2s. Is that your size? 8.5, yeah. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and it giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. We just came to the clearance and they have all of these shorts that are ten dollars each. Some well, basketball shorts for some basketball shorts, yeah. I think these would be awesome. Look, these were originally seventy bucks. I'm gonna drive in now. What? I don't fear none. My line busy take no calls. Thank you. Successful trip to Nike, you guys. We walked in and immediately, Rag Guy picked out the perfect pair of shoes. Like, no joke. They're Gorgeous. Awesome. Very light, very cool, very functional, very basketball. So, your very first ever pair of basketball shoes, remember they were called? I remember they were called. There were the Air Force. Air Force uh, Pro 2 or something like that? Yeah, or, or something like that. Oh, uh, yeah. They were just like. Air Force Max 2. Air yeah, Force Air Max 2. Max. They've got like this purple band on the bottom. Very, They're very nice. They're pretty cool looking. We picked up some shorts on sale, 10 bucks a piece uh, yeah, for Rag Guy. Like, normally, like, there was a pair that was $70 normally, and they were on sale for 10 bucks. 10 bucks, you guys. So, we loaded up on some basketball shorts. Hi, Kirby Doo. I even Kirby snagged a quick pair of shoes because uh, I have holes in mine. I won't even show you. I'll show you guys. Show you my socks. I'm going to show you my shoes. So here's my shoes. So I went ahead and grabbed a pair of shoes. I let the kids help me choose those and ones. They were pretty colorful. You'll be able to tell because they're colorful. They're very colorful because the kids like that. But now, Kirby Doo was very patient in there. He did not find any that he loved. He didn't have a lot of kids. I did find selection. one cool one. It was snowflake ones. Yeah, they're like these Air Jordans with snowflakes. They were pretty rad. And we might go back for him, but he's had his eye on some Steph Curry's, which is an Under Armour brand, I think. And so we're going to head to Under Armour right next door, see if they have any of those in his size. Yep. One thing to note about our little Kirby, he takes a very long time to make decisions. Oh yeah. Like that might be an understatement. We've had this experience a few times, he just takes a long time to decide. That's okay because I want him to be sure of his choice. And every time we do take a long time, he usually ends up loving it. So it's worth it in the end. He's not as easy as Ryler where he walks in. This is what I want. They're both kind of opposite ends. Ryler's a little bit more impulsive, like me. Crew is a little bit more, <laughs> takes his time, like Brandon. Go, 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 go. So here's the thing, dude. We're gonna have to find kid sizes. These are the ones that you want, but we gotta find a kid's version of that. He just grabbed these without even like. I feel half like a those second. are the ones we saw when he was buying school shoes. Dude, do they have your size? Is the question? Is this them? Are those basketball yeah. shoes even? Cash money like five or four. Ball like eight D two four. No sleep me mo mo mo. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy I'm fitted. I love them. I love them like too. Them. After all that talk about how long you take to decide on things, you walk right in and grab the first pair of shoes you see. And I think we're gonna walk out with those. I'm in my car and 
Kirby dude, you would love these shorts. What's cool about these is these are like 15 bucks and then you get an additional 60% off. That's really good. They're scoring some major deals. Yeah, here. they're having like 40, 50, 60% off the entire store here. So we kind of should have like the lowest ticketed price. So like even off of clearance price. Yes. Yeah, so, oh, 29 plus 40% off. Oh my gosh, you guys. And crew just scored a brand new pair of six shoes for 35 bucks plus tax. Yeah, so they didn't have his size in store. So they're going to send him to our house. So he doesn't get them right now, but. But they are amazing. But they're he exactly found the these he awesome wanted. shorts that will go cool with his shoes. And these are like 11 bucks plus 60% off. Guys, you know what I call that? Still of a deal. Pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm These are such incredible deals. We had to even get Brexy Doodle a pair. Even though it's not basketball shoes, he just wanted to get on the action. Check these out and tell me they're not Brexy. You go, oh, they're just gray. Like, that's kind of cool. Yeah, they're just kind of dumb. Oh! And then maybe. <laughs> that is so Brexy, dude. I love them. Mm hmm. Another insanely successful I'm stop. So excited. I mean, this is like incredible. So we only got the one pair of shoes for Brexy. Crews have been ordered and they're on their way delivered to our house. They matched then, the sale price, matched yeah, the clearance matched the price. price. But then they ended up, we ended up getting crew a pair of shorts and they were, they were eight, eight bucks. Dollars. So, so we then grabbed I a got pair for Brexy. Pair for Brexy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you guys, I know that like as you buy stuff on sale, it's great to get the deal, but then you start adding up more stuff. Maybe you don't save that much money, but to get so many things on yeah. such great steal of a deals, steals of a deals. Steal of a deal. <laughs> it was a wildly successful trip tonight. We're walking away with some Nike shoes for Rye Guys, some Under Armour shoes for Kruby and Brex. Everybody's ready to go for Pretty basketball. Cool. They got some shorts. They'll get the jerseys that come along yeah, with the team, those right? Yeah, always really cool, yeah. They have socks? No. We might want to grab some socks. Very successful trip to the outlets tonight. Yeah, awesome. I'm so excited for them. Ooh, I'm a real one, my day one. So just as we said, as we were walking out of there, they need more socks. It occurred to us that the kids actually need some basketball socks. So they're back in there in Under Armour right now, picking up some socks now. Kirby Doo is very particular about his socks. They've got to be the certain length, thickness, fit, everything. Hi, Hazy, what are you doing? Got you in my Can't see you, there you are. But he has this one pair of Under Armour socks that he repeatedly wears. In fact, he's constantly sneaking them out of the dirty clothes so we can put them on again. So we're gonna go see if we can find those same socks and just get him multiple pairs of those because it seems like everything is on a great clearance though right now. So we can clean out some socks while they're on a deal. That's gonna be the best way to do it. Are you tired? Yeah. So you go home and go to bed after this? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What'd you get, buddy? Socks. Some socks? Are they gonna be the kind that you love? Your special perfect thickness, length. Oh, you got some socks, dude. Wow. Crew is a little bit like me, and my socks have to be just the right thin or thickness. They right have to length, fit just right, right, right they, length. They can't the be big thing is the folded. heel hitting in the right spot for crew. Yeah, so we got him the size that he belongs in, not like the dad's size socks, which he tries to wear all the time. Dude, I'm stoked. So, so I you think got we're everything. all ready for basketball. Guys, we're ready to rock. We got shorts, we got shoes, we got socks. Now you just gotta get some talent. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they have tons. Yeah, I know they're my kids. We are back home. Kids are in bed. Another day, another successful day. Kids are really good after school. Yeah, guys, we're on two for two now. This is batting a thousand. I mean, two in about 11 years, so this is doing pretty not good. Not too bad, not too bad. The average <laughs> is still against us. But, uh, but then tonight, also. My mom has raised me that nothing feels better than a deal. Yeah, that's and true. And today, we scored <laughs> steal of a deal. You know what's good when Mindy got home and the first thing she did is call her three closest friends and let them know what's going down at Under Armour. <laughs> I really did. She literally was like, I don't know if you guys even like Under Armour, but they were having the crazy a sale. You gotta go. Steal the deal. 50% off of a Clarence Lois Mark sticker. Anyways. But really? But really though, I mean, shorts for eight bucks, super cheap socks, amazing shoes for like 30, 40 bucks. Incredible deals tonight. Kids are yeah. fully outfitted for basketball. That starts this week. There's practice. They have games on Saturday. More fun super and action to bring excited. to you guys. Should be a lot of fun. I haven't been in basketball for at least a year. So yeah. yeah, fun to get back into that. We're really excited. We've got a lot of fun things coming up this week. We have orthodontist appointments. We Ooh. have hauls coming. A lot of them awesome fun things coming up this week. So make sure you come back. Make sure you subscribe down below. Hit the like button. And turn on the bell so you know when we upload. Bing bong, bing. I did bing bong last time, so I had to take it to bing the next bong. level. Bing bong. That's how I did bing last bong. time. Anyways, we love you. We will see you all tomorrow. Come back. Love you guys. Bye. I hope I don't get in a fight.